So this is the Da Vinci surgical robot, uh, which we've recently acquired at Peter Mac for doing cancer surgery for uh, public patients throughout Victoria. It's composed of three different components. Uh, this is the main robot cart, which has got four arms here, and typically the patient is uh, lying on the operating table here, and there's a large telescope, uh, which shows us mag magnificent magnified views from inside the abdomen. And then these three robotic arms allow us to do complex dissection within the patient. And just over here is the, the vision cart, which controls the, the brains of the robot, if you like. And then most importantly, over in this corner, is how we actually control the robot. So this is the, the surgical console. And so all the activities of the robot, the surgery, and the vision are all controlled by, by the surgeon sitting here, looking into the 3D magnified view and controlling the robotic arms using hand and foot controls. The commonest indication for robotic assisted surgery is removal of the prostate in men with prostate cancer. So in this model here you can see the bladder, the prostate and the urethra. So men pass their urine through here, through the center of the prostate and out through the urethra. So if a man has prostate cancer and needs to have his prostate removed, traditionally that's done through a large open incision. But with this robotic surgical system we can remove the prostate and join the bladder back down to the urethra through very tiny incisions, which means that instead of spending up to a week in hospital, the patients typically go home the next day. So a big, a big saving in terms of patient recovery and indeed hospital bed stay. For me it was really good. I walked out of the hospital the next day and, uh, and although I come from Hobart, I, mean, I didn't go home but I went into a self-service department so that uh, I was much more comfortable there and uh, it was perfect. This is a great step forward potentially for the public health system and we are committed to supporting this process right through. It's a great addition to this hospital, it's well located here, it's in the hands of uh, fantastic surgeons and we recognise there's an important role for the government to play here to assess the, uh, to assess the use uh, of this system and to ensure that any benefits which can flow to the public health system more broadly are made available and evaluation and assessment that will take place and we're committed to doing that. I think it's important that this facility is available inside the public system and that option is there for, um, for Victorians as is appropriate.